So uh, essentially, we are wrapping up now. So there will, there will not. I have two slides, and Daniel will show you a little bit around on the website. So, so there will not be a lot of math. So uh, essentially, uh, Mosaic uh, went public, not a, on on the stock exchange, but with a product that people could buy in, in I think in '99, so a little more than 20 years ago. So you can see uh, the next version of Mosaic is version 10. So during those 20 years, we have released a new version every second year, approximately. Uh, so currently, we are about uh, 13 people in the company. And most of those people, they are developers. So Daniel is doing sales. And of course, we have some IT things to take care of. Uh, we have a ton of computers down in the basement that, that needs to be taken care of. And currently, you can see five of the developers sitting at the two back rows over there. So uh, currently, we are working on Mosaic version 10. And I'll just uh, talk briefly about what are we working on. So uh, in this business, uh, when you solve optimization problem, you always want to solve them faster because you want to uh, have more assets in your portfolios. And you can only do that if you don't need too much time. So solving it faster is always important. So each new version typically runs faster. Also, uh, the hardware that we are running on is developing. So the different CPU vendors, they add new features to the CPUs, and we want to exploit those features. So we have to modify the software. So version 10 will have uh, performance and numerical stability improvements. So numerical stability is always an issue, because you tend to put in sort of strange data that can give problems. <laughs> so uh, we try to deal better with that. And, and also, a lot of things are happening on, on the uh, hardware. Uh, side and we are trying to exploit that. For instance, when I started, when we started 20 years ago, a, a CPU only had one core and you have a limited amount of RAM. Now a common CPU can easily have like 32 cores or something and you, you want to exploit all those cores to speed up the computation. So we work on, on that. I have a question uh, regarding that. So when you run a uh Mosaic on uh, multi-threads, uh, do you get deterministic results? Uh, yes. By default, or you need to specify? By default. In, in the manual, it says it's run to run deterministic. And that means if you input exactly the same data running on the same computer on the same number of threads, you get exactly the same result. So you cannot move to another computer if you use four threads and eight threads, you may get different results, but it's it's run to run deterministic. It's uh, if 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 that's not the case, you can complain to support, and we will look into it. We are working on the first one, and recently Apple uh, released uh, their new uh, line of computers and laptops. And in those, they, they made their own uh, CPUs based on an ARM architecture. So that's popularly called Apple Silicon. And the CPU is called M1. And so customers are, are, are asking whether we are supporting that. Maybe not so much in finance, uh, but in other areas. And, and version 10 will have support for that. And that chip is, is a very, uh, it, it seems, they have made a very good chip. It's a very fast uh, chip. And I think this will spill over to the other vendors like AMD and Intel that they will have to build faster computers. So, so the competition is heating up. And you will benefit from that ultimately, I think. Then uh, we are working on improving our interfaces. So today, we primarily had discussed uh, the Fusion API. So it's a very convenient API uh, and very easy to use. But it's sitting on top on our old API called the Optimizer API, which is a bit more low level. So it's harder to use, but 
It's also more efficient, but it's quite a bit more work to develop an, a model in the optimizer API than in Fusion. But, but we will make it easier to specify conic models so it will borrow a little bit of the ideas from the Fusion. So if, if performance is the only thing that you're thinking about, then you might want to use the optimizer API and then that will become easier in version 10. We already saw uh, the power cones. So uh, Gabba showed how you can use the, the power cone to model a market impact cost. And currently we only have the three-dimensional case and, and that is sufficient for market impact cost. But uh, we will uh, add a, a generalized version of the power cone and that means you can actually optimize over the geometric mean, for instance. And I know some people in finance want to do that. So this is probably of less interest for you, but who knows? Then we will add support for uh, something called disjunctive constraints, and that belongs to the world of mixed integer optimization. So disjunctive constraints is something like saying either x has to be zero, or x has to be greater than one and less than 10 or something. So it's, you know, in, in a typical optimization, well, in an optimization model you say, Constraint one has to be true, true, constraint two has to be true. So there's and between all the constraints. In disjunctive programming, you have two or more constraints and then you have all between them. So this is kind of uh, what we call syntactic sugar that, that could be very useful also for finance from a syntactic or modeling level, but it, it's a, in early stage, so um, the, the question is whether we can solve that type of problem efficiently. But that's something we are working on and there's some research outside MOSIC in the academic world that might benefit this. Okay, so <laughs> quite often when we are talking to customer, they, 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 they don't understand why we want money for our product. <laughs> they want it free of charge. Why can't we just do some open source? Well, so, you know, behind this, a lot of things happening. So, for instance, we are using the Intel C compiler. So, we talked today about Fusion, and Fusion was in Python. So, we have these different interfaces on top, but down in, at engine level or computational level, that's C code for efficiency. So, all, of, all the interfaces are sending, down, are sending the, the optimization problem into the same engine. Okay, and the best compiler uh, for, uh, the, for, for our engine or our C code is the Intel C compiler, but Intel, they basically have discontinued their current C compiler introducing a new C compiler called the One API. So we are currently working on switching to the, C, uh, the One API uh, C compiler from Intel, so, so we, you know, if, if we get a problem with the compiler and, and Intel has released the 10th version of their one API compiler, then they won't support us. So we have to follow sort of the development on, on, on those tools that we are using. And that, that's some work. And uh, in order to run the code multi-threaded, we used to use something called Silk in the Intel C compiler, but will, that has been deprecated in the new Intel C compiler, so we have to use uh, Intel trading building blocks instead. So we do a, we kind of do a lot of works for you if you want to build those tools yourself because we make sure that, that the whole thing is up to date and we follow the development in the technology. Yes, and uh, we are currently working on that version and we hope maybe a, a beta will be released in, in February 2021. And I think that is what I had to say. 2022. Ah, 2022, yes. <laughs> right, I, I always mix up those years. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is the Mosaic webpage. And um, <clears throat> You can see here from our menu that uh, 
if you wish to know more about Mosaic, you just simply click Discover, and uh, that will take you to some different uh, documentation and uh, and installation uh, uh, manuals. Um, this one is, uh, if you want to try Mosaic, you can always ask for a 30 days trial license. And uh, some, in some cases, we will be able to extend that as well. And obviously, I would like you to try this button as well, which would uh, direct, you to, direct you directly to me. Um, yeah, so just uh, go over our documentation for a short while. So we have a more general introduction to the Mosaic uh, optimization uh, suite and uh, some manuals on how to install and the licensing and uh, things like that. And uh, <clears throat> if you go scroll down here, you can see we also have some uh, <clears throat> PDF versions of our modeling cookbook, which is also over there. You're very welcome to grab one on your way out. Uh, we have the portfolio optimization, uh, which is a paid, page dedicated for that. And you will find a PDF version of the uh, portfolio optimization cookbook as well, which is which has just been uh, released, actually. Um, and uh, yeah, so if we move further, as you were asking about Martin just before, we go to sales. You can see here are different uh, licensing uh, structures. Basically, Mosaic consists of two modules. One is the PTS. That is the basic module. Uh, that is the one that is always required. <clears throat> this one allows you to, to solve linear problems, basically. <clears throat> and uh, mixed integer versions of uh, linear problems. And if you want to move on to, uh, to solve conic problems as well, you know, you, you're going to need the uh, PTO uh, license. So the licensing is offered. Uh, we have three different licenses. Uh, we have a floating license. We have a server license. And then we have a group license. The floating license and the server license uh, are both tied to a specific machine. The floating license is tied to a uh, licensed token server, and that actually that allows any user which, uh, which has access to that token server to check out a token and, uh, and, uh, and use Mosaic. But only one process at any given point in time is, uh, is uh, able to do the Mosaic uh, optimization. The server license is always also tied to a server, and uh, that actually gives access to anyone connected to that computer, and uh, that actually gives access to unlimited use on that particular server, to run Mosaic on that particular server. And finally, we have our group license, which, which is maybe for the, uh, more, the larger groups or, or, or corporates, which is actually uh, provides unlimited use of Mosaic. This is not tied to any particular machine, but actually anyone in that particular group or, or, or corporate can use, uh, can use the license. Uh, I need to say that uh, the floating license and the server license are perpetual licenses. And uh, as an addition, you can buy maintenance, which, is, which comes at an annual fee, whereas the floating license and, uh, and server license you own, you buy one time, and then you own them. The group license is a rental fee, which is valid for one year at a time. And usually, we, uh, we have to negotiate the price based on the, uh, the usage and uh, the price stays flat for three years. So yeah, that is more or less what I had to say. Again, I would like to uh, thank you all very much for coming here. It's uh, been a great pleasure. And I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, the show. <laughs>